What's going on everyone, Max here. I'm very excited to do this video for you because the topic of this video happens to be my favorite classification in the world of perfumery, which happens to be fougere. Why do I love fougere so much? I think they're very classy, they're very sophisticated, and they're very timeless. It's a very timeless sand profile that I think that, I mean, the proof is in a pudding. It has stood the test of time for many years. And I love it so much because my grandpa used to be a fougere lover. My father was a fougere lover. So, and nowadays you can even see that profile very predominant in a lot of new releases, which we'll talk about some of them right here. Because we're not just talking about fougere, because if you look at fougere, if you translate it from French to English, fougere means fern-like. And of course, you're not going to be walking around smelling like fern. But what it is, is a trifecta of coumarin, aka tonka, with lavender, heavy lavender, and of course, gorgeous oak moss in the base. That is the premise of this profile. Today we're talking about neo fougeres, which is really taking that classy, elegant, sophisticated, timeless genre and profile, and adding these really incredible, you know, nuances that are modern to make these fragrances the best you can possibly get from a fougere with a new, with a neo slash modern style. So all 10 fragrances on this list will definitely give you an edge, guys. So stick around. They're coming up right now. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking Neo Fougeres and of course these are the 10 favorite Neo Fougere fragrances that I currently own and wear heavily in my rotation. We're going to start off with a fragrance that's near and dear to me. I've been talking about this fragrance ever since it was released. I've been wearing it heavily. And the reason why I love it so much is because it captures the essence of Fougere but adds these beautiful nuances and modern notes that I just absolutely go gaga over. And of course, the fragrance we're talking about here is Saharoff Signature, released in 2018. I reviewed this fragrance for you guys. I'll leave it up here so you guys can check it out. What this fragrance is, ladies and gentlemen, it takes that beautiful fougere approach, but adds all these beautiful and modern notes to it, just making it a gr great neo fougere fragrance, as good as it gets, guys. This is a big bottle, 4.2. You can easily find this fragrance at Zaharoff.com. What I like about George, you know, Zaharoff, is that he's taking the beautiful Fougere, which is again timeless, and adding all these new fragrances to the collection, like the Noir, the Royale. So the collection keeps going, but that, that, that structure of the Fougere just stays predominant. This one here is a bold Fougere fragrance, of course. You're going to have the, the Oak Moss. You're going to have the Lavender. You're going to have all the prerequisite, quote-unquote, Fougere style but then you have like the note of pear up top which adds this nice beautiful freeness to the fragrance ginger and pimento leaf in the heart which again adds a lot of these new you know nuances and modern facets to the scent and in the base you have myrrh and amber which adds sweetness to the fragrance and the myrrh gives this beautiful smokiness to this particular fragrance a great new fougere if i ever smelled one guys saharoff signature own we're going to jump into the designer side of things now because I want to show you and prove to you what I said in the beginning of the video that even the most prominent designer brands these days are jumping into the bandwagon of Fougeres. It's really coming back as we see, you know, fashion is very cyclical. So we see this genre of Fougere as well as Chypre really coming back into the world of perfumery. Now we're going to talk about Tom Ford. Tom Ford is a great brand, a brand that's, you know, really sought after. It's probably one of the top three most sought after designer brands out there, including, you know, Chanel and Dior. The fragrance we're going to talk about, this Neo Fougere from Tom Ford, is going to be Beau de Jour, which was initially released in the Private Blend collection, and now, you know, a couple of years later, ported into the Signature line. Now, what this fragrance is, and why I love it so much, is because, again, it has the Fougere style, but then it adds this gorgeous patchouli slash vanilla, which adds this really nice almost gourmandy facet to this fragrance. If they amped up the vanilla even further, it would have borderline gourmand territory, but it really remains a fougere at heart because you have the lavender, you have the green components, the herbal facets, a little bit of a sweetness, tonka slash vanilla in the base, just makes it so freaking amazing. Other notes that are worth mentioning here on Beau de Jour is going to be the geranium that adds this almost minty facet to the fragrance. And of course, the amber, which again with the tonka and vanilla just adds that sweetness that I talked about. Beau de Jour, the amazing Neo Fougere that you must try if you like the genre. The great thing is it's no longer a private blend, so it's a lot more affordable. And you can also look to see other fragrances like Costa Azura from the Private Blend, also into the Tom Ford Signature line. And I think right now, or in the next few weeks, you're going to probably see Tom Ford 
tobacco oud that was discontinued in the private blend and will be ported into the signature line just like Beau de Jour. We're going to talk about this fragrance here. The perfumer of this fragrance is going to be the same gentleman that did a lot of fragrances for Odyssea de Victorias. Uh, and the fragrance we're talking about is going to be Norton & Wilson's Gravitas Pour Homme. Now, I love this fragrance. My wife loves this fragrance. I've talked about immensely about this fragrance. It's definitely one of my favorites discoveries of last year. What this is, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be, again, a fougere with a lot of modern components. So it just makes it so nice. The two things that I want to mention here is going to be the ambergris, which has this really nice salty and very modern feel to the fragrance, along with vanilla. There's a lot of vanilla in here, which really, even further, the experience you get with, with Tom Ford's Bol de Jour. What I would describe Gravitas, it's like if you took Bol de Jour and you mix it with Givenchy, gentlemen, the old and original formulation of that fragrance. So needless to say, Gravitas is going to be very sophisticated, very elegant with those traditional classy elements, but also adding these beautiful, you know, modern nuances to the scent. We're gonna remain in the niche side of things. We're gonna talk about a fragrance that when I first tried it, I wasn't a huge fan of, but it really grew on me because the more I wore it, the more I liked it. Not only did I like the scent on me, on my, my skin, how it dried, but also the feedback that I got with this particular fragrance. It's a Neo Fougere, as good as they come because it really took that lavender and added these nice sweet nuances making it a very aromatic and very modern experience. And the fragrance I'm talking about is Sadly from Parfums de Marly. Sadly, gentlemen, is going to be a great Neo Fougier, like I said, as good as they come because you're gonna have that lavender that is very particular to Fougeres, some herbal nuances in here, maybe a rosemary or thyme, but really the sweetness that you get here really takes it to the next level given this incredible, modern, more youthful, this perhaps the more the most youthful fougere, neo fougere experience you're gonna get with all these fragrances you're talked about today. Sadly, it's going to be fizzy. It's going to be sparkly. The beginning, you're gonna have a great melange of citruses, including a very amped up grapefruit, which is almost like a soda pop kind of a vibe that you get, which is really incredibly great for compliments, if you're one for compliments. The heart, you're gonna get this geranium minty vibe along with rosemary, that's the herbal undertone that I talked about. The lavender is gonna be very, you know, heavily done here and, and sweet-like. And at the base, you have cedar, you have sandalwood, which gives us a little bit of a creaminess to the fragrance, but you also have a heavy note of ambroxan here, which really gives that youthful and more playful vibe to this particular fragrance. A great Neo Fougere, awesome for everyday wear. You can wear this casually, you can wear this dressed up or dressed down. One thing is for sure, if you love compliments and you love smelling good, this will definitely give you that particular experience. The fifth choice here is perhaps the most underrated hidden gem on this list because it's one that doesn't really get much talks. It's been released a few years ago now, I wanna say five years ago, give or take. And it's from a house of Amouage, which I love. You know, you would never think that they would have a Fougere, but they have a perfect Neo Fougere fragrance in their portfolio. And I highly suggest you guys check this one out. You know, search this one out because if you love Fougere, but you wanted a near modern vibe to your Fougere fragrance, this one here, it takes the cake. Again, the most underrated on the list. It's going to be Bracken Man. Even has the fern um, leaf right here. Uh, Bracken Man right here in the collar with a little green uh, gem. I mean, I love Amouage. I love their bottles. And this Fougere here is one of those that blew my mind when I first got this fragrance. I believe it was 2018 when I was released, if, if I'm not mistaken. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a gorgeous Fougere fragrance. I love Amouage. You guys know that. It's one of my favorite niche brands. I think safe to say in my top five niche brands at this point. And this one here just has this gorgeous, almost boozy-like vibe that I get in the beginning. Almost like an absinthe drink that you get. The green is definitely present. You know, the fern vibe that you get. You know, the, the oak moss, the lavender, all those vibes, all those structure and elements that you need for a great fougere are present here and very nicely blended, very um, masterfully put together. But what I love about Bracken Man is what they added to the fragrance, to so this fougere structure, which is the spices. You have a clove slash cinnamon vibe here along with nutmeg, so it makes it so spicy, creamy, almost boozy-like, you know, the, the way I mentioned before. If I'm looking for a fougere, I wanna wear a fougere, I'm gonna have a hankering for a fougere that day, but I want something a little bit more spicy, a little bit, you know, different than a regular fougere experience would give me. I go for Bracken Man, guys, because again, that cloves and cinnamon up top, along with the nutmeg, it's just 
unbelievable. Cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, geranium, cedarwood, sandalwood are some of the notes, along with the patchouli and musky dry down, lavender, oak moss, of course, all the elements, but just taking it to the next level on a spicier kind of a vibe, if you will. Bracken Man for Amwash. Ladies and gentlemen, if you love to discover fragrances, if you love to discover niche fragrances, if you're new to the fragrance world, if you're just, you know, starting to, you know, get into the proverbial rabbit hole of YouTube into the fragrance game, you can't miss out on Scent Explore 2021, third annual, the third edition happening this December 4th, 2021, an all day event, international virtual convention. Check the link below. We're almost sold out. If you guys don't want to miss out, the chance to register is now. Tons of giveaways. Of course, we're talking about Fougere today, which, which is my favorite classification. We're going to have a master class with Michael Edwards talking about all the classifications and much, much more, guys. Check out the link below, SynthExplore.com. I hope to see you there. Continuing the countdown, I have five more great fragrances to share with you. And these are in no particular order, by the way. All 10 new Fougere fragrances here are great. This one here, harping on the fact that, like I said before, designers are really you know, taken into the old style, classic and timeless fragrance genre, the Fougere. This one here, 2021 release from the house of Dior. We have Sauvage Elixir, guys. I am in love with this fragrance. From the first time I tried this, I was like, wow, I need to have this. I want this in my collection. What I'm loving about Elixir, guys, is it's taking the original Fougere DNA, but adding all these incredible facets to the fragrance, like licorice, for example, dark licorice. Uh, it's a little bit smoky as well. It's not going to be for everyone because this one here is very powerful. It's a little bit dark and it's extremely long lasting. So you, you must really like the genre to go for this fragrance. But no doubt about that this has a very modern vibe to it. It, it kept the original DNA from Fougere's but added all these really nice, you know, dark but modern nuances like the dark licorice that I talked about. You have a lot of different woods in the base, including vetiver. It's very predominant smoky vetiver in the base. There's a lot of spices here like cinnamon, nutmeg. I do get a little bit of a clove vibe as well. Grapefruit is gorgeous up top. It's really, you know, juicy, really fruity, but that goes away real quickly because it gets into that lavender and the dark components that I talked about. But one of my favorite releases of 2021, if you want something powerful to really make you stand out, you must check out Sauvage Elixir. Now, this is a completely different fragrance than the other Sauvages in this collection, which I'll pop up here if you want to know a comparison between all the Sauvages ever made. Check this video out. Speaking of Dior, we're going to talk about a perfumer that has now, you know, been appointed to become the, you know, head perfumer of Dior. And of course, Francis Kurtjean is the perfumer as, you know, Francois de Marchi now is retired. So, and, you know, Francis Kurtjean takes the stand and becomes the head perfumer of, you know, Dior fragrances. So I'm looking forward to seeing what Christian Dior has to offer in the next few years. But the fragrance we're talking about here is from Maison Francis Kurtjean and the fragrance is going to be Au Masculin Priel. Now, this fragrance here, ladies and gentlemen, is a perfection when it comes to modern day fougeres. I absolutely I absolutely love this fragrance, loving Fougeres as I do. What I love most about this fragrance is because it adds a gorgeous note of creamy uh, patchouli to the scent. So it's like you marry the patchouli with the oak moss along with the lavender and the tonka beans. It is just heavenly. It's one of those scents that it smells like a million bucks. I also get a little bit of a honey facet, kind of like the honey facet that I get with uh, Givenchy Gentleman. So this is like... A fantastic fougere with a honey-like patchouli in the base. One more thing worth mentioning here for Pluriel is it also has an absolutely incredible leather facet in the heart into the dry down. So if you like a fougere but you wanted a leathery fougere, Pluriel is definitely the way to go. Next up, a fragrance that is for sure one of my favorite discoveries of 2021 so far. And it's from a niche house. A niche house that's going to be joining us at Scent Explore this year. A brand new house, nevertheless. It's going to be... A house from Italy, from um, a brand that the parent company is Mosque Milano, but this particular brand is brand new and it's called uh, Milano Fragrances, which is fragrances from Milan. And what they do is they take all the Milan locations and cultural uh, background and they make a fragrance to represent each one of those locations and, you know, cultural background. This one here that I'm highlighting today is a perfect Neo Fougere because it adds this gorgeous note of Amaretto. And Amaretto, for those of you that don't know, 
There is a Italian liqueur called Di Sarono, which is basically an almond liqueur. And this particular fragrance, ladies and gentlemen, is going to have all the facets of a great fougere, but it's going to add that Amaretto Di Sarono almond liqueur at the top, which makes this an absolutely stunning fragrance. Like I said, one of my best discoveries of 2021, and it's called Diurno from Milano Fragrances. This stuff here, ladies and gentlemen, an absolutely stunning scent. Fougere, as good as they come. But that Disserono liqueur up top is just heavenly. It's one of those scents that when I tell you, you know, you smell a fragrance and it just makes you smell like a million bucks and it's so good you want to drink it. Right from the beginning here, the introduction is going to be exactly like the Disserono liqueur. If you have a bottle of that, open it up, compare the opening, smell the glass. You're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. There's also a bourbon geranium kind of a vibe in the heart, which adds more booziness to the fragrance. And, and the geranium, of course, a minty, very sparkly vibe to the scent. And at the base, cedarwood, musks, and a little hint of aquatic undertone. It's not an aquatic. It's really a fougere. And it's a boozy fougere at that. So, guys, if you like boozy fougeres, do you know is definitely a way to go. One of my favorite discoveries of 2021 for a reason. Now the last two picks here for new Fougeres, one is going to be my favorite designer release over the past three and a half years and the other one is going to be my favorite current Neo Fougere that I wear almost on a daily. I love this stuff. I guess you could say this is my work signature scent you know when I go for a meeting or a presentation or when I want to just you know dress up this is definitely a fragrance that I look to wear all the time. So let's break this up let's talk about first the best designer release in my opinion over the past three years. And of course, it's going to be from the house of Cartier, and the fragrance itself is going to be Pasha de Cartier Parfum. What I love about this fragrance, again, talking about boozy fragrances, this has all the facets of a perfect fougere, but then it adds this gorgeous whiskey note up top. So if you like boozy, this is definitely one to check out. But it gets even better because not only it's boozy, but it also adds this creaminess with a sandalwood and the vanilla in the base which gives us off almost like a gourmand facet so it's like a boozy fougere slash gourmandy vibe it is absolutely incredible amazing for compliments definitely more mature than sadly because i talked about sadly being great for, for compliments from parfums and marley this one here more mature though has more of a green herbal component but it gets creamier with the sandalwood and the vanilla in the base and of course the absolute stunning whiskey up top Pasha de Cartier, like I said, one of the best designer releases over the past three and a half years. All right, this last fragrance here is definitely my favorite currently when it comes to Neo Fougere fragrances. I wear this almost weekly. You know, I'm hard pressed to say there's a week that I don't wear this because I really see this in my rotation time and time again. In this particular fragrance, I love it so much. I went through a bottle and I immediately got the flacon because I knew I was going to be wearing this a lot. And this is, again, another one that when it first came out, I wasn't a huge fan of, but it definitely grew on me. And the fragrance I'm talking about is viking from creed and i don't talk about creed much because you know lately with all the reformulations you know they aren't as good as they used to be but viking is definitely my current favorite because it's fougere at its finest and it added a lot of great notes that i love and this particular fragrance just smells incredible on my skin i carry a decant with me i wear this like i said almost all the time keep one in my office i just love this stuff guys it's fougere at its finest and the quick way to define this, how it, you know, what kind of fragrance it is, how, how it reminds me of the smell. Think about this for a minute. You're going to fuse two of my favorite aftershaves. One is going to be Old Spice. So it's like a modern version of Old Spice. And you're going to pair it up with Pinot Virgin Island Bay Rum. That is what you get, ladies and gentlemen. It's fougere. It's spicy. It's creamy. It's a ton of cinnamon. It just smells absolutely heavenly aside from reminding me of those two fragrances that i just talked about combined you also have great notes like pink pepper in the fragrance a ton of mint up top which also makes it very refreshing as you first put it on bulgarian rose in the heart which gives this beautiful floral undertone to the scent you also have sandalwood patchouli and of course the gorgeous lavender and my favorite vetiver so this fragrance has all of my favorite notes combined into a perfect neo modern day fougere viking from the house of creed guys my current favorite new fougere fragrance that i'm rocking in my collection 
Thanks for hanging out with me today to talk about Neo Fougere fragrances. Of course, let me know in the comments which Neo Fougere fragrances you guys love the most and why. Maybe I'll find something that I don't know yet. Maybe I'll discover a new Neo Fougere that I'm going to love just like the ones I shared with you today. And of course, if you appreciate the content, show me in the like, subscribe for more. I'm your guy. I keep you informed on all things fragrances and turn your notification bell icon so you get these videos straight into your feed. As always, remember guys, fragrance is emotion in motion. So choose your fragrances wisely. And as always, wear it well. If you guys want to try any of these fragrances, check out perfume.com to check out your best source for samples everything fragrance thousands to choose from of course use my code max 15 for 15 percent off at checkout don't forget to check the link below for scent explore amongst tons of prizes which are international by the way you can win a trip to visit the oman homage factory for the ultimate homage experience guys check the link below hope to see you there and of course i'll see you right back here with another video very soon take care